Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about explanations. So covering how we enable them in the settings, how we will leave an explanation when we're marking, how to save them, and then two ways of how to send them. So we can allow either just the planner to send explanations, or we can also allow all, all of our graders to send explanations. Before we have a look at the settings, you might wonder, why do I need to use explanations? In contrast with other kinds of feedback in Inspira, explanations are used to give feedback on the whole of the assessment, not just individual questions. So I'm here in Deliver and I've selected my exam. I've completed all of my settings and here we'll scroll down to the explanation of grades. So here I've selected Enable Administration of Explanations. If we have this one ticked, that means the planner will be able to send the explanations. We have another option over here, the second one, which is allow graders to send explanations directly to candidates. So for the purposes of examples, I'm going to leave this selected so I can show you what it looks like on the grader side. Now I've navigated to the grader workspace and I've selected explanations in the grader panel. So here I have my explanation for this question and I have this green option, which is mark as ready. Once we click mark as ready, that's then going to communicate back to the planner that this explanation is ready for sending. Now you can see up here, I've already confirmed my results and that's why I've got this blue option for send here. Normally you'll be writing your explanations before the results are confirmed. In that case, you'll be able to edit your explanations whether you've clicked save or mark as ready. However, explanations can't be edited once the results have been confirmed. Now I've seen one of the ways that explanations can be sent in Inspira, and that's by the graders sending them individually to the students after the results have been confirmed. In most circumstances, it will be more practical to bulk send the explanations. So let's navigate back to the delivery section and see how we can do that. So now you can see it under explanations, I have one that's ready. I have one ready here because for this test purpose, I only had one candidate enrolled. If I hadn't have selected mark as ready, then it would be appearing here as a draft. Okay. And then we wouldn't be able to send the explanation. So we would click on this one that says that it's ready. And it will bring up a list of the explanations that have been completed. Okay, so again, here I only have one. In a real scenario, you would have many more. So I could select here. You would more likely select at the top, which will select all of the explanations. It brings up a bar down the bottom here. And then you would click send explanation here. And that will bulk send all of your explanations to your candidates. Thank you for watching.